good evening, gang, and happy new year. Welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams. I'm your host. And to my left and to your right, of course, is the lovely Valerie Eliason. Hello, Val. Hello. Happy, happy new, new year. year. How's it going? Great. How's it going with you? The year so far has been fabulous. Uh, it really, really has. I'm oh. really excited about 2015. I got a lot of big plans. It's going to be a great year. You told me one that I'm going to hold you to. I'm going to be able to hold you to because I'm going to expect to go to a gallery opening every month. <laughs> Yes. Okay, well, that's exciting. <laughs> Listen, we're coming to you live from our beautiful studios here at BNN TV, and you're more than welcome to join us if you'd like. We're at 617-708-3290. Yeah. Is our telephone number. Dave and the great staff of BNN are in the other room answering the phones. Listen, give us a call. Let us know what's going on in your artistic life. Tell us your New Year's resolutions. Yes. Share with us what, you, uh, what your plans are. Mm -hmm. We have a great show tonight. We have a great show. So many yeah. awesome people. Very, very excited tonight. Uh, some people from the Boston Arts Academy are here. Walk Boston are here. We're doing our gallery show. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, what, uh, what have you done with the two weeks I haven't seen you? I did see uh, you yeah. Christmas Eve, though. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for coming. Yeah, that was, you and Janice put on such a soiree. It was fantastic. <laughs> I had a great time. The, you know, she puts out this spread, this food. There's a spiral ham she's cooked and all these hors d'oeuvres. Stuffed and stuff. mushrooms. Oh, the whole thing. And, yeah. It was very, very nice. And it was great. We had about 25, 30 friends. And, and family people that drop by the house to spend Christmas Eve with us. We were, we were flabbergasted with the numbers, but it was a lot of fun. Everyone was so kind. Your yeah. daughter was great. I love her. The fabulous her. Rebecca. Isn't she sweet? She's so sweet, yeah. And you got to meet an old co-host of ours. Yes, Carol O'Connor. Carol O'Connor, yeah. Yes, yeah. I liked her a lot. I'm excited to see her tomorrow at our bar class. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. so. What's b b b bar, bar class? Bar class. It's like a new trend in exercising. Oh, it's like, oh, she does do that Bikram yeah. turn herself around stuff. <laughs> Pretzel. Pretzel you know. lady. She does a good job, though. Yeah. You know what? Uh, we had a, I did some artful things this past. Uh, I went down to the brand new Winter's Farmer's Market. How, I've been wanting to ask you about yes. it. How was it? It was great. It was the first, it was the first one of, of its kind in Rosendale. Okay. They've had a far, Winter's Markets around the city. Uh, but the Rosendale Village Main Streets group put it together and they, they brought it into, if you're from Rosendale there, it's in the Sons of Italy, which is on Birch Street. Okay, yep. Right next to Sullivan's Pharmacy across mm -hmm. from there. But it's, uh, they've turned it into this farmer's market for Saturdays awesome. from 10 to 2. Yeah. Do they have as many vendors as no, they do? No, no, not even near as many. It's so, it's so tight, they get kind of squeezed in and stuff. But it, it, was, it was nice to be there and be part of it. It was oh, a lot God. of fun. Did yeah. you do music? They did. There was. I didn't do any music, but there were people playing. Oh, awesome! Uh, so they do have a little music happening in the side. There's some munchies. There's some food to eat. Good. It's kind of like a nice, a nice hang. I'm definitely gonna check it out this Saturday. Then. Yeah, that's good. That's good. They clap some cabbage. So what did you do? <laughs> Close. Close. So what, what, um, what did you do over your, your long break? Jeez, uh, well I spent lots of time with my family, That's lots good. of time I'm with glad. friends, uh, got some time to relax. I joined the Athenaeum in Boston, which I'm really excited about. It's a, a member's library, um, but they have, it's like 10 floors of these incredible collections of books. They have a whole floor dedicated to art books. Mm -hmm. I spent a couple hours in there just learning about all these different It's a location, artists. it's a place, or is it part of the Copley. Oh no, it's an actual place. It's actually right near the State House, right next to where Fox 25 News is. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a yeah. big, beautiful old building with these like ornate um, oriental rugs oh, and nice, nice. a very, very Oh, it looks like um, the library from Beauty and the Beast, actually, with the like sliding ladders. It, it was wonderful. But you did the gamut of old books, didn't you, this, this vacation break of yours? I loved it, though. I learned, um, I was looking at this artist, Gustave, uh, Gustave Doré. Beautiful stuff, yeah. all these carvings, very like sort of dark and mm -hmm. um, whimsical, but yeah. Very cool. It was really great. You know, one of our, one of our, 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 our New Year's resolutions is we're going to do uh, at least three to four location shots this yes. year. I'm really excited for that. I've already yeah. started brainstorming. Yeah, we're going to actually go and probably try and do the show at an opening somewhere yeah. or or do a show at a, at a gallery or something. That would be fun. That would be, and I, I know the galleries would love to have mm -hmm. us. That would be so great. Yeah, Especially I hope so. um, the Guild. On the New Guild. I'm going gonna, gonna to give them a call and see if they'd be interested in doing something like that. They're such great people, They're too. They're great people. We had so much fun when we went to their gala, their 100th year gala, and I think 
think that uh, that'd be a perfect kind of kickoff if we could partner with them about something. Yeah. It'll be great. They'll love that. Now, when you say you're going to be doing a piece of art every month. Mm -hmm. That's my New Year's resolution. Okay. Well, well uh, is it going to be shown someplace spectacular? I, you know, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Haven't no. gotten to that bridge. Okay. But I am, you know, in 2014, since it was so long ago, <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I didn't, I, I focused a lot of time on um, this show as soon as I became a part of it. And I was, I was doing so much with moving and, and everything and starting a new job that I didn't really get to create much. Yeah. Um, with my hands, no paint, no drawing. You know, I did a couple things here and there, but I really want to create some things in 2015. I want to make some canvases. Um, and well, you're an assemblage, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, you do. You do uh, I like collage. I yeah. like, I do a lot of stenciling with spray paints yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I, I want to maybe, um, I know there's a gallery in Somerville, the Nave Gallery, is that yes, what it is? Yes, yeah. Um, they had a call out for um, someone to, like, curators to put together a show. So I was talking to my roommate and a couple of their friends and maybe try to put together and curate a show of our own there. Oh, that'd be nice. So it would be a lot of work, but it would be an incredible opportunity. Yeah. So anyone else that's interested, too, can, right. can do it. So. Janice and I always are looking for some place to nail one of our pieces up yeah. at. So it would be fun. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take a, a class in, in caustic. Oh. The wax. Oh. The wax. We uh, had a guest on. Yes, not that's too what long got ago. us interested in it. Yes. And I, and I said, you know, that would be kind of fun. And lo and behold, she did some calling and looking around. Found and a class. Found a class that we're going to take together. I can't wait to hear about it. Yeah, it's going to be heat, it's going to be hot. Well, at least it's a good time of year for it. It's freezing outside. <laughs> it is cold out there today. <laughs> it's 20 degrees. I left the house this morning. It was nice and balmy and stuff. All of a sudden, I come out of school this afternoon. I couldn't move. <laughs> no, the wind was the worst. my poor car. If you hear some noise in the background, that's because we have a gallery show tonight. Yep. We have lots the, of people the out there. The B&N Gallery is going to be, uh, we're going to be showing some great art from from across different, different walks of life, different people around the city. There's a theme behind it. Uh, we're going to be talking about, um, uh, we have a great guest, Sean Anglet, who's a, who's a student at the Boston Arts Academy, and mm -hmm. he's gonna, he, he was inspired by a situation in his life to, to get some artists together to do different things to depict the issues that they were going through. Yeah. His little brother got in a car, got hit by a car. Yeah. And, and so it moved him and his family so much that they wanted to put a, a gallery show together. And uh, we are so fortunate and lucky that they, that they, they chose us to do that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so we're going to be talking about that. I'm going to be popping out to, to take, a look, take a look at the show yeah. and meet some of the folks out there and what have you. It hit so close to home, too, because it happened right here in Roslyn. I mean, right. I live on the street. Right that on the that street that you live on. on. Right. And it is a terrible street. People speed down oh, that street all the time. There are kids outside, people right. walking their dogs, you right. know. So it's really great what they're it's doing. It's right close to the Arboretum, so there's lots of people coming lots and going. People. So. But I'll tell you, it's great awareness, but what has happened, it has created some amazing pieces yeah. of art. So we're going to get a chance to see those and, and meet some of the people that are involved in that. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, if you're watching this show right now and you want to see it again, because you've just enjoyed it so much. It's such a great show. <laughs> you can see it about this time tomorrow. It's going to be up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's and all about Arts One? It's all about Arts One is how you get to the number one. Number one. Uh, if you put that in, log on to your, uh, it's all about, uh, log into your YouTube's channel and put in the search for it's all about Arts number one and uh, it'll get, get you right to the, the yeah. different ones we've been doing. So it'll be a lot of fun. Or on our Facebook page. Facebook page, which is growing ever so greatly. It is. We're well over 300 now. Yeah. Now we want 500. 500. <laughs> we want 500 <laughs> likes. Yeah. So if you go to your Facebook page and put in, it's all about arts, yeah. it gets you right to our, our, our cool Facebook page, which has all kinds of different things that are going on in the city and different things that we're up to. Yeah. And you get a chance to meet us a little bit. It's kind of cool yeah. and fun. It's been fun. I've been trying to post some artists on there every now yeah. and then to show people. There I go. It's, See, it's look great. Uh... I got the word this weekend that... This week, when I, my family got together, they said, you got to stop doing this. They had this. an intervention. An intervention. They all gathered around and said, we're taking the glasses away if you keep doing this. <laughs> so we're going to put up a jar next week. I'm going to put a quarter in every time. I know. I let the bag out. The you know, out next of week, are you going to be here? Do you have a... Oh, no. I have a board meeting next week. I'm not going to. The week <laughs> after that. Sorry, GBH. I am coming to the meeting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll be there, I promise. Um, but speaking of, by the way, speaking of the Main Streets program, yep. we're so proud and honored to be part of their organization. They help support us here at Boston Neighborhood Network, and uh, they have been with us for a long time, and we're really, really proud of the affiliation we have with them. Amazing. Oh, they're great. What they are is they are a volunteer-driven organization that helps revitalize business districts around the city. There's about 20 of them around the city, and what they do is they work with the property owner to make sure he's got the right demographic. Oftentimes, the property owners of these buildings don't live in the community, so they're not really familiar with what's going on going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so they have a lot of people that, that work to give that, make sure that that property owner knows what that community needs. And once that is in the building, once that's in the storefront, they, they, they then work with the design committee that helps them put the designs together to make sure that the building, the business looks right and everything is set up correctly. Then there's a promotions committee that puts events on. Like the farmer's market. Like the Winters Farmer's Market, exactly. And what they do is they bring people down into that business district so they can discover the different things. Listen, I have to thank them so much for this, for their, for their uh, support of us uh, over the years because uh, they've kept us on the air here. Uh, we've become kind of a, 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 of a fixture here on BNN TV, and we're so proud of that. They're and so great. They've been great. They've been great to us, so we really appreciate them. If you see somebody with a, with a Main Streets t-shirt, a volunteer, thank them for Val and I, will you? Yeah. Say, listen, we watch that show and we appreciate the work that they do for their community. Yeah. Speaking of community, I stopped at uh, the Pet Cabaret the other day and Good. I was talking to... Um, Lisa or Lisa? Y uh, Lisa, yes. <laughs> They're both Lisa. <laughs> Lisa's. But I uh, mentioned your name. You were chatting about the show yeah, and about everything. It's really nice. No, they're, they're lovely people. They're, they're right up on the corner of Metropolitan Washington. Yep. They're part of the Main Street family. So uh, it, it's nice that you dropped in to say hello. That's great. That's yeah, good. I like them well, a you've lot. got that. Giant rabbit. Giant rabbit. Yeah. You're going to take care of. I got him a late Christmas present. Good to you. Yep. And okay. I'm pretty excited. Good. Pineapple House. The other thing we like to talk about before we get into the show is this amazing building that we're in. You know, people have asked us, what is that building that you're in? It's the old uh, power station for the MBTA, the Orange Line for all you old time, thank you, for all you old time uh, Boston people, the Orange Line that ran down Washington Street. This is where they got the power, right here in Eggleston Square. And we bought this about seven or eight years ago with uh, Urban Edge helped us out. There's a bunch of the Payet people, the city of Boston. Everybody got together and decided to put BNN TV in this beautiful building here. And what it is, it's an opportunity and a place where you can come and do television, where you can come and be a part of what Val and I are doing right now. If you have a nonprofit and you want to get your mission statement out there and you want to bring guests in that can talk about what your mission is and the things that you want to do, this is the place to come and do it. If you go to www.bnntv.org, click on Janice Williams or Jim Atwood's name, they can get you all the information that you need to come in and do a program just like this one. The other side of BNN, which is Channel 23, now don't turn there, go there right now. After the show, you can go to Channel 23. But, uh, Channel 23 is access, and what that is, is that's where people come and become members, and you take Final Cut Pro, you take some digital performer, you take some Pro Tools uh, classes, how to do lighting, how to run these cameras, how to do sound, sign out the great cameras and stuff that you can sign out as a member downstairs, go out and shoot the local swim meet, you like to say, <laughs> or, or the local town meeting, and lo and behold, guess what? Come in, edit it in the great Timothy Smith lab downstairs, and they'll put it on TV for you. www.bnntv.org is where you'll go to get that information. What else happens if you go there? If you click on what's playing now... You'll see our smiling faces. We stream live there every Monday night at 6 o'clock. So Half if you go to quarter. that... I know, quarter, clink. So if you... Uh, <laughs> you'll get me, I know. Uh, that's where you'll go to uh, see our program live. We want to say hello to Bud and Mog down in New Jersey. I know that you guys are tuning in. Uh, Peter and Laurie, thank you very much for being with us out in Texas. Texas. Yes, the Lone Star State. He was, he was giving me a hard time about how Texas was going to beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Well, let's hope we both get there. Yeah. <laughs> that, that'll make it very exciting. Yes. So. Well, you know what? I think we're going to take a break. You got yeah. a Val's view coming up? I do have a Val's okay, view. Okay, we're going to do a Val's view, and then we're going to, you've got a great interview tonight. Oh, uh, I can't wait. Yep. You Walk Boston or something? Yep, Walk gonna Boston. It's going to be very exciting. Listen, gang, listen, we're going to take a quick, quick break, then we're going to do Val's view. Listen, gang, you're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn. This is Val. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Please don't go away.
Well, thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us, gang. My name is Glenn Williams. You're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. We're coming to you live from our beautiful studios here in Eggleston Square. You're more than welcome to join us if you'd like. Give us a call, 617-708-3290. Dave's answering the phone in the other room. Give us a call. Let us know what's going on. And I want to remind everybody, again, that, that Val's, View, Val's View comes to you here, but it also you can also get a preview of Val's View in the Boston paper. Right, that was it. Yeah, Boston Bo City Paper. The Boston Free Paper. You can get all this Val's View stuff. She's got her own little column there going on. We're very, very proud of all the work that she's doing. And also, I want to remind you that you can see this show coming uh, about this time tomorrow night on our YouTube page. So if you go to your YouTube station and put in It's All About Arts and the number one will get you to the great show here. But listen, it's time for the first Val's View of nine. 2015, I'm still saying 19, that's horrible, isn't it? Listen, get, well, it's time for Val's View. Hello, everyone. Happy 2015. Hope everyone had a wonderful and safe new year. Uh, we have a couple great things coming up this month for you to definitely check out. Uh, first off, we have Friday Skate Night, free Friday Skate Night. Um, so no cost. It's awesome. Get to go out and uh, check out the Aganis Arena over on the BU campus. It's right off of uh, Com Ave in Brighton. It's going on January 30th, and it's from 10 10 to 11.30 p.m. So it's definitely a late night. You might want to grab a coffee beforehand. Uh, but it's going on right after the men's hockey game. So you can head down there with your skates. If you don't have skates, you can rent skates for free. So definitely check it out. Got no excuses. Um, and go have some fun. So second off, we have the opening reception of an exhibit called It Was Pretty Violent. Um, so Full disclosure, maybe not necessarily one to bring the kiddos to, but definitely a really interesting um, exhibit that's going on at the Thomas Young Gallery. Uh, now that's over on East 2nd Street in Boston. It's going on January 15th from 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, the artist is Caitlin Junenbeer. And so she is predominantly a photographer, um, but this exhibit is going to be exploring more of her illustrative works. Um, she sort of combines uh, monochromatic colors and stark composition uh, the paintings are sort of cartoonist in nature, um, but they have undertones of sly humor and looming 
threat. So they're very, very interesting. Um, I definitely go check it out. I got a chance to see some of the pieces myself. I really, really liked them. Uh, so third on the list, we have the Ukulele Orchestra of Great Britain. So definitely a uh, unique combination. When I think of a ukulele, I think of uh, a Hawaiian man in a giant flower lay and a grass skirt playing on a, on a beach someplace. But this is a orchestra of ukulele players from Great Britain. So it's going on January 16th, that's a Friday, from 8 to 10 p.m. Uh, it's going on at the NAC Jordan Hall. Um, so what uh, the group is funny, virtuosic, foot stompingly, good humor. They're a really lively, uh, rambunctious bunch of people. So it's going to be definitely fun for the family. It's going to put a smile on your face. They're going to be playing songs that you've heard, maybe songs you've forgotten, but uh, it'll keep you humming for the rest of the night. So definitely go get a chance. Um, hope you have a chance to check out some of those things. Um, happy 2015. It's always my pleasure to bring to you uh, some of the great things that are going on in our city of Boston. So I'm going to shoot it back to Glenn. Uh, back to you, Glenn. Thank you, Valerie. Listen, ukulele, you can't have a happy, you cannot have not a happy face when, you, when you're listening to ukulele music. Thank you, Valerie. That was great. Listen, one more reminder is that if you have something that you'd like to contribute to Val's View, you can do that if you go to your Twitter account. You can give us a tweet. We're at, uh, at It's All About Arts. That name keeps popping up. It's just being used. Listen, we're going to take a quick couple of seconds break, and then Val's going to be here with an interview. Then we're going to get out to the we got so many things to do. So listen, gang, sit back, relax. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Enjoy this music, please. You're, what you're, watching, you're listening to is you're listening to music from Low Budget Records right in Rosendale. Been, been together for 32 years recording music just for you to listen to. Listen, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes, gang. Do not, I please, do not go away.
Hello, welcome back everyone. I'm so glad that you stuck with us. Um, so we have a great guest with us today, Brendan Carney. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Um, so now you work with Walk Boston. Um, we got to talk a little bit before the show about some of the things you're working on. Uh, it seems really amazing. Tell us about um, some of the projects you're doing right now. Sure, Walk Boston is a pedestrian advocacy organization. We're actually entering our 25th year in 2015. That's so, amazing, yeah, congratulations. We're pretty happy about that, That's thank awesome. you. Um, yeah, Walk Boston makes walking safer and easier across Massachusetts, not just in Boston, okay. um, to make safer communities and improve the walking environment and make everything safer. Um, so we're working on a number of different things. Um, we've worked in over 101 communities, so yeah. as you can imagine, there's That's all sorts of different yeah. walking issues that um, affect Springfield a little bit different than maybe uh, a small community on the Cape versus downtown Boston. Oh yes, a lot of different locations yep. and I'm sure all the different environments have different needs and different ways of accommodating more safer uh, areas for pedestrians. Exactly, and pedestrian density is a lot different in Boston than it may be you know, in Dennis. Oh, on the I Cape. can imagine. Um, so yeah, we're doing a lot of different things. Um, one of the projects we're working on right now is with the Massachusetts Department of Transportation. Okay. It's, a, it's called the HSIP program, Highway Safety Improvement Project. Okay. Um, and it deals with high incidences of pedestrian crashes. Um, there's 12 pilot communities across the state. Okay. Cambridge and Somerville are two of the ones in the, the greater Boston area that yeah. are um, in it right now. Um, and it involves both enforcement and also education of pedestrians, cyclists, and motorists. Yeah. And then there's improvements after that. Um, so basically right now we go into a community, we work with all different parts of the government. So it's, we get the public works to the table, the planners, and all sorts of the police. And from there we go to the high incidences of, of crashes. That's amazing. It's, um, it's so great to see you here with um, some of the people that we have outside um, it, in terms of uh, what happened you know, with the accident on Walter Street and all the, the artwork that people have been creating to sort of promote um, pedestrian safety and making the roads a, a better place. What did you think of some of the art out there? I thought it was pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, it's, it's basically about awareness yeah. a lot of the times um, and a anything we can do to improve the safety of our communities, it's, it's great. So the awareness of a program like this that Sean put together is, is great to see. That's awesome. Now, what, um, now how long have you been with the company? I've been with Walk Boston since uh, September 2013. Okay. So. Um, what are some of the more impactful um, projects that you've seen, in, especially in the city of Boston? I know it's, I always feel like there's this rivalry between the pedestrians and, and people in vehicles. It's just, it can be a little silly sometimes. You're <laughs> yelling at each other. And uh, what, are, what are some of the more um, impactful situations that you've been in where you've, you've really seen uh, improvements within the city? Sure. I mean, right now, there's a number of different things underway, as you can imagine, with all the development that's happening in South Boston. Um, there's a big South Boston transportation study happening right now. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, yeah, because with all this development, there are a lot of cars and vehicles, but we need to make sure that we're looking at other ways of moving people around, whether it's increasing transit or you know, making sure people can walk safely. Yeah. Um, South Boston really needs that. They don't really have a good T system over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I used to work down that area and the Silver Line was, was tough because yeah. uh, there wasn't signal prioritization and um, a lot of times it was much quicker just to walk. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, do you guys do uh, a lot with bicycles too? I, I, always, yeah. um, I always get so nervous seeing some of the cyclists on their way to work, especially in the winter when the roads mm -hmm. are so icy and cars aren't looking and it's, um, I, I, th I think bicycle safety is, is such an important thing in the city. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's all connected. Yeah. Uh, Boston enacted a complete streets policy a number of years ago, but it's about putting into practice, you know, exactly what they outlined of redesigning streets for all users and making sure it's safe and organized and you know exactly where cyclists are going to be, where pedestrians are going to be, where cars are going to be, where transit's going to be, like yeah. the green line. Um, like Com Ave is a great example. Um, they're redesigning uh, Commonwealth Avenue right now, yeah. and there's a big process um, 
underway with the city and uh, Walk Boston's involved as well as Boston Cyclist Union and Mass Bike. Um, these are all groups that we work very closely with, including Livable Streets. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. The advocacy group is pretty on the same page on you know, what we can do to move people around the city and the state better. I saw, um, I, I've been seeing a lot more uh, bicycle lanes and very like bold paint and mm -hmm. the bicycle symbol on the road. Um, so it's, it's great to see that on Com Ave, especially like around the Fenway area and especially sure. around the college area because there's always, sure. always kids walking around. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, I mean, that's such, that's such great work that you're involved in. It must make you uh, feel really good inside. Yeah, when you can see things that are actually happening, yeah. it's, it's good to see. Um, and also, it's, there's going to be a, a period of just, you know, as we are changing the built environment, mm -hmm. meaning the streets yeah. and sidewalks, um, there's going to be a period of adjustment as people understand the new, the new way to get around. Yeah. Um, and there will be some frustration, which is understandable. Anything new is scary, right? <laughs> Anything new is scary. Yeah. Do, you, do you ever run into that? Any resistance from um, people that, you know, maybe don't want a bicycle lane on this street because it's already crowded? Or uh, what do you do in situations like that? Yeah, I mean, you run into it all the time. You know, if someone may be inconvenienced a little bit at some point, yeah. and they may complain. Yeah. Um, it, it's the same for me. Like, if I come up to an intersection and the I'm waiting forever for yeah. the walk light, like, I'm annoyed. I, when but, it starts there at 40 other, seconds yeah. and counts down, yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, exactly, yes. exactly. So, um, so it's just about trying to find that balance of you know what works for people, because I mean, when it comes down to it, like what moves the most people around? Yeah. Single occupancy vehicle or people walking? A ton of people walking and, and people taking transit. And, yeah. You know, so That's it's great. it's tough to make that make that shift sometimes, but. We're, uh, we're well on our way to do it. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so happy to hear about all your work. That's, it's really great to see um, the city making, that, making those steps towards um, safer transportation for pedestrians, for bicyclists, for people in vehicles. Um, it, it's, it's really great, and especially since I think uh, Boston's one of those cities where it's always been such a struggle to sort of get that to mesh together. Um, but thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being on the show. It's, it's been wonderful to have you. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. We're going to shoot it out to Glenn, see some of the uh, works of art that the kids Great. have been working on. Um, so thanks again. Glenn, we're going to shoot it out to you. Ready? Ready? Hi, gang. Thanks an awful lot, Valerie. I cool. really appreciate it. Welcome out to the B&N Gallery now, folks. We're out here with a great gang. Does everyone say hello? Hello. hello. This is the gallery out here in BNN land where we, we hang out every couple of months out here and we're really, really proud of the work that we have here. But there is a special guest that came to join us today that I'd like you to meet. Meet my eye, our good friend, City Councilor Tim McCarthy. Hello, Tim. Hey, Glenn, how are you? Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. What did you? I, did, are you here because of the opening here? Tonight? No, actually, I saw I, I saw uh, Sean on Facebook. Oh, so, really? Uh, he's a Rosendale guy. I'm a Rosendale rep, yeah. so I didn't want to miss it, and I'm a huge fan of the arts, as you know. Well, thank you very much. We really appreciate Thanks seeing you. you here. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy Everybody's New Year. Everybody's well. Family's good. Everybody's good. Everybody's That's great. great. That's you. great. We have some great artists here. One of the pieces I, I want us to take a look at. There's about. 10 or 11 pieces here, but one that's really, really, I love an awful lot is this image here. And it's, there are angels all around. And the artist is, hello, your name is? Hi, my name is Ian Spangler. Ian, tell us a little bit about this piece of art. What's it on? Um, what it's, What's it's, the medium? It is uh, acrylic on masonite board. It's beautiful. And mm -hmm. angels, this is, what is, what is the story behind the story on this one? What are, what are, what are we looking at? It's what I think, uh, drivers should be imagining as they're driving. If they could see everyone as an angel walking around them, then they'd be more aware. They'd be more aware could, of the yeah. safety that goes into it. Thank you. How did you hear about the show? A poster at my grocery store. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> so Brothers. Sean was out hanging things for you? That's great. <laughs> Listen, why don't we back down? Why don't we walk down this way a little bit so we can see some more of these pieces? Um, this piece right here is uh, the artist here. Here you are. Here you are. Come and say hello. What's your name? Hi, my name's Annalise. Annalise. Um, let's talk a little bit about your piece here. This is, tell me what, what's going on in this piece here. Um, well, I was inspired to do this piece because the whole topic has greatly impacted my life. And what's going on here, it just kind of shows the effect of a car crash and what, or, well, mainly a pedestrian, 
want a pedestrian's hit. It shows I have cars over here that are just normal, and I chose red because I feel like red, you know, for the stoplight, for a stop sign, is just a very bold color for mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And I have many cars that are just a different range of cars that are all in good condition. And then slowly as the piece moves over, I have cars that have a pedestrian on top of them and mm -hmm. dented stop signs and cars that have dents from impacting. This is, it's lives. a very, very powerful piece. I want to thank you for sharing it with you. You have a personal contact with this, gal with this gallery show, don't you? Yes, my yeah. brother is the main inspiration for yeah. this. He was struck by a car mm -hmm. in August 2013. This is very brave and I, I really appreciate this and you being part of this. This is really, really cool. Do you like it? Yes. It is fun, isn't it? Come on down, guys. We've got a lot more things to see. If we'll move back down the gallery way here, you'll be able to see that there's different kinds of pieces here on the wall. There's a hubcap here. There's, there's, a, there's a, a kid, a, when driving, keep your eyes on the road, obviously. We want to take a look at this piece here. Who's the artist in this one? Come on up, come on up. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jire James. Uh, tell me, what's the inspiration behind this piece? The inspiration behind this piece was I was generally thinking about a lot of what Sean was standing for when he was creating this event. And it made me think a lot about moving forward, even though things may happen in the past. And I know there's going to be a lot of roads ahead, bumps and roads ahead. But you just need to keep plowing forward and use what you learned from the past to better shape your future. This is an amazing piece. It's, it's in four different pieces, and it's, and it's a, a small puzzle put together. But boy, I'll tell you, it's very strong. Yeah. I like it a lot. Where do you go to school? I go to Boston Arts Academy. Boston Arts Academy. Is Boston Arts Academy represented here today? Yeah, I think they are. I think everybody's here from the Boston Arts Academy. Well, we're going to move down a couple more pieces to see. Uh, it's, it, I hung the show, and I got to tell you, I, I had a hard working on where to put what, what piece should go where, and, and how it should look. And uh, this piece right here, I want to take a look at. Is, is the artist here for this piece? What happened? Did he, he's, well, he was here, but he's, he's not here anymore, so. Uh, and then, well, we got another piece here, down here, the, yeah. This is nice. This is a photography. What, what's your name? Ezzy. Ezzy, um, where do you go to school? Westwood High. Westwood High, well, thank you. All, all the way from Westwood High, that's great. How did you hear about the show? Directly from Sean, we've been friends for There's that name years. again, Sean. Everyone keeps mentioning this guy, Sean. I'm gonna have to talk to him, I think. Uh, tell me what this is. This is a... It, uh, it's a pretty simple concept of just the aftermath of a car accident. You have an injured person crossing empty road. Kind of like real change of lifestyle from the care for right, the right. surroundings. I like it a lot. I, I, what I like about it is I, I like the fact that it's kind of in a, in a gray, black, and white, and, and it, it's, a, it's a beautiful piece. Thank you. Do you like taking you know, photography? What, what do you use to take this picture? Uh, Sony Alpha 55. Okay. Everyone's got a camera phone now, right? But you have the real yeah, You, you real use screen. the real work, I, right? I was really into photography during middle school. Uh-huh. Great. Very exciting. Listen, gang, you know what we're going to do is we're going to move this back inside. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a break for just a couple of seconds, and what we're going to do is we're going to meet this young man named Sean. We're going to have a good, good talk with him and a great teacher from the Boston Arts Academy. So don't go away, gang. You're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams. We'll be back inside Studio B in one minute. Don't go away. Thank you.
Welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. That was great out there. That was amazing. There's so many people. It's a, it's a great, well, it's, you know something? I think we should find out more about it. Yeah, I think so. You know, folks, it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to uh, two people that are, that are very involved in, in, this, uh, in this, this endeavor. Uh, Destiny Palmer, hello. Hi, nice and to meet you. And you are a teacher at the Boston Arts I Academy? Am. Destiny, thank you very much. And the well afore aforementioned, Sean Englund. Hello, Sean. Nice to see you, Glenn. Nice to see you again, too. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Uh, let's, let's talk just a little bit. Um, uh, uh, Destiny, when did you first hear about this project that, that Sean had come up with? What was the... Uh, it was a few months ago. Mm -hmm. um, like right as school started and he kind of was like miss palmer have this really awesome idea <laughs> <laughs> and i was like okay i'm on board it sounds awesome let's do it great so. great and uh and then and then sean you contacted the rosnell arts was it the rosnell arts alliance yeah, it's the Ro rosnell arts alliance you, you contacted them and they kind of got you over to where we are here right. and kind of got you on on onto here uh, I, I, I think it's important that we touch base on, on the, the hard fact of, of the inspiration behind, behind this. I know it's difficult, and, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, there's, a, there's an obvious happy ending. I saw the four of you down the square the other day. Uh, tell us what inspired you into, into, into this, uh, this gallery showing for you. So it, it all really started in the summer of 2013 mm -hmm. in uh, August. Um, me and my younger brother were walking back to our house um, from our car, and when we were on Walter Street, my younger brother was, um, you know, partially across the street, uh, and, and a car just came speeding uh, down, obviously going over the speed limit, and he, he and he didn't see it because it came over the bend of the mm, hill. It, yeah. it, we live in a relatively hilly area, mm -hmm. uh, so the car speeding uh, struck him like right in the road and um, the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. he got he got hurt and, and, yeah. and, and beat uh, he, up pretty good. Yeah, he got very injured. He, uh, the, the impact broke his leg. Yeah. Um, uh, f financially, it, it, it hurt us a lot too. Sure. Uh, our, our family hierarchy is, is, is like like it, it's it's sort of like toppled. It's sort of toppled over. Well, any kind of happens. catastrophic injury to a member of a family is going to have 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 a definite effect yeah. on, on somebody. You know, and yeah. this happened right outside of your house. I yeah. did. I live on Walter Street too. I know exactly. Oh, really? um, what you're talking about, I, whenever I, if I can't park on the side that my house is on, I park on the other. It's right. like a mad sprint across the street because yeah. that hill, it's like a blind spot and cars just, oh, yeah, exactly. so it's 20 mile an hour speeding zone and people are going 60, I swear, you know? Yeah. It's awful. It's a terrible thing. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so, so this impacted your family. Now you're an artist. Yeah. And any, anyways, and uh, did it, it obviously affected your, your artistic eye a little bit too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what's your medium that you work in? Uh, I, I work primarily in paint. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, at least that's what I'm most com comfortable with. Uh, okay. But I, 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 I vary in you know whatever kind of medium I choose to use. Okay. Uh, when you put the word out to do this, um, uh, Destiny, what do you teach at, at the Boston Arts Academy? I teach an exhibitions class. So an exhibitions class is kind of what we're doing here, exactly isn't it? Exactly what we're doing. Uh, curating a show. Yep. Um, uh, did you, Sean? Did you did you have to you know rely on Mrs. Miss 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 Palmer to? Uh, I'm a teacher too. He can't call me Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I realized that as I was calling you. Guess that. Was, wait a minute. Miss uh, Palmer. Miss Palmer. Um, uh, did you rely on 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 your 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 educational uh, facility a lot, Miss Palmer, and, and the group there to, to put this thing together? Um, I, I, I definitely learned a lot from her exhibitions class. I, I, I've taken one, two, one. One, one with her, yeah. but, but uh, I, I, I did learn a lot from that. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, I, 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 went out, I sort of went outside of there too because I had to reach out to, you know, people in my community. Yeah. And, you know, even if they weren't in, in my community, like, um, like Ezra, who came all the yeah. way from Westwood. That's a, great, that's a great accomplishment to have somebody, an artist of, the, of, his, of his quality to, to kind of step in. Even though he's a friend, you know, he kind of lent, lent his expertise to the show. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, it, it's even cooler that he lives in Westwood because, you know, you, you, you think it's bad in Rosendale, right? But the truth is, it just, it, 
Everywhere. Pedestrian everywhere. and car, like... Rivalry uh, and yeah, just trying it, it to coexist. happens coexists. everywhere. Like, according to statistics, by the hour, this kind of thing happens. Yeah, right. That's crazy. It's amazing mm -hmm. to see you take something um, so catastrophic as the accident that happened with your little brother and turn mm -hmm. it into something so impactful and positive yeah. and wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's it's really, truly inspiring. and It's it's such a great accomplishment for you. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. And the other thing that I realized is, is when I was talking to one of the artists, she saw it hanging in the um, grocery store. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's kind of really amazing as well. Right. Uh, you know, pe people... Um, you, you, can, you can see it as two things. If, if you're an artist, you know, okay, cool, something for me to participate in. But, you know, it's, it's another thing to say that, you know, I care about, you know, the message that you're trying to send out. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, it's so good to hear that, you know, people can, you know, relate to it. Yeah. And, you know, e even if they, they don't have, like, you know, that kind of experience, like I got hit by a car or a friend got hit by a car. I think everybody knows somebody that's been hit and has, it, it, it has a kind of you know, close call in yeah. their life. Yeah. Right. You know, I know that I have, you mm -hmm. know, and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, it, it doesn't even have to be somebody you know. Right. It, it, it could be a friend of a friend of a friend. Sure, sure. And chances are that has happened to a friend right. of a friend. How's he doing? Uh, my younger brother? Yeah. Oh, he's, uh, he's doing well. He's still, uh, his leg is fully healed. Good. But, it, you know, mentally... The emotional sky is going to be there for a yeah, little while, I'm sure. Yeah, we, we, we've been struggling a lot to, you know, cope with um, th things like his uh, PTSD yeah, from well, the experience. It, it's going it's, it's to be... A, there's, those wounds sometimes take a little longer. To, yeah, I was really also to happy hear. to see your sister involved, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, she, she wasn't there, actually, when, when the accident happened. Thank God. But, yeah, yeah, but um, she, she was just up at the house, and... When I when I went up there and said, "Oh my God, you guys! Anthony just got hit by a car." Yeah. They 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 were first like, "No, he didn't." And you know, it, it was it's one the, of those I times. I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. It, like I didn't believe myself saying it at first, yeah. but like, guys, I'm serious. He actually got hit by a car, yeah. and you know, it it was it was that kind of point where they were like, "Oh my God, he's not kidding." Right. So. My my sister was freaking out. My dad was freaking. We yeah. were, we were you know all something? freaking out. You know something? <laughs> I know your family, and I know what happened right after that. Everybody got together and pulled together as the strong family you are, and, and took care of business. I'm right. positive of that. Mm -hmm. yeah, family um, first, man. Is 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 there a message in this, as far as uh, from from an educator's standpoint? Um, uh, taking a, a situation like this and, and, and taking hold of the emotional part of it and making some of these really moving pieces that we've been looking at? It is. I think, um, well, I actually remember the summer that we came back and you, I was like, Sean, how's your summer? And he was like, my brother got hit by a car. Mm. And watching him kind of let that idea or things process for a whole year's time and really develop not just his own personal work from it, but... Um, how do you, how are you going to gather the people that are around you to kind of talk about something that really affected you? Yeah. Um, so to see that as something that we're always having a conversation about at Boston Arts Academy and just in the art world in general, you know, you want to be a responsible artist. We yeah. talk about what does that mean to be engaged in your community, engaged in your right. space, to have a voice. Right. Um, so it's, yeah. Well, you, you know, Sean, I got to tell you, you're lucky to have had, had that outlet. There's so many artists that, that have to kind of create that in their attic, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's kind of tough. The art can be so solitary. Mm -hmm. You know, Definitely. but you've, you've turned it into something that, that's not only a group, but you've reached out tonight and many other, in all kinds of different ways uh, to let people know about this and to share the artistic thing. Mm -hmm. Sean, thank you so much for coming in. It's a I got to tell you, it's my pleasure. It's our pleasure to, yeah. to have you here. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, we've got to have the whole gang over here someday. Yeah. We've got to, we got to yeah. talk about the Boston Arts Academy right. someday. Listen, gang, thanks an awful lot. We're right up against it. We really packed a lot in yeah, there tonight. Yeah, we did. We really got a lot in. It was great, though. Yeah, I think it was very important to uh, look at. They've got us switched. Oh, hey. Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> You're welcome, Dad. <laughs> it's a team thing. <laughs> Listen, gang, get out there and do something awful for yourself. Visit us, please, on Facebook and like us, please, because we'd like to get ourselves up there and, uh, and those likes, you know, because we want people to like us. Happy New Year. Happy 2015. Yeah, welcome back. Listen, like I like to say every week, and I hope this will be a day I don't have to say it, keep in the forefront of your minds our mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews on foreign soil, please. Do something artful, do it for them. 
She'll see you next week. I will. I'll see you in a couple of weeks, gang. Thanks an awful <laughs> lot. Bye-bye now.